Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, I am doing a ton of videos for you. It's late at night, Thanksgiving. Been eating and filming all day, trying to get some content since I'm not working today out there to help you guys, especially your revolver stuff. I did, a, did one on the top five carry calibers. I've done one on these top five carry revolvers, like my videos that used to blow up before I was shadow banded and, and uh, all that. And, and then anyway, um, I did one on recommended carry ammo for 2 inch and 3 inch 38 special and 357 magnum. So <clears throat> now I'm going to do one on holsters, all these holster options. Let's talk to you about holster options and carry methods for uh, typically your snow revolver. I got one here that's a 4 inch, so you might do that, but that's going to be a little harder for most of you to conceal. So let's get started. <clears throat> Uh, something like this Colt Detective Special or exact, almost exact same size Taurus 856 or even that knockoff, the, uh, the one from um, the Philippines, Rock Island. Uh, you know, that's a little, little kind of small, perfectly sized, snubby, six shots. Uh, this was given to me by someone, Cardini. This one works uh, good for that and only... For this size the bigger k frame here won't fit in it uh and there you go so that's good to just kind of throw in your belt more appendix style in my opinion i don't like inside waistband at three or 340 like a real boomer carrying a real gun this outdated stuff but um let's see if i can angle up just a tad and then i'll angle down and give you a better look so there's that I've, basically i throw this in the bag as a range holster for training uh, at the range. Um, I think I've only carried with it once. Uh, but anyway, uh, there's Cardini made in Colombia. Uh, of course, a lot of people carrying snubs are gonna carry in a pocket. Here's a Mika pocket holster. I have a full review of two different ones. This one's actually a little too deep for that. So he sent me another one that actually fits better. Mika pocket holsters. Uh, he, he was LAPD, his brother was LAPD. Uh, you can hear uh, SWAT guy mention his brother in some videos. Um, so anyway, uh, this one doesn't fit as good, but Mika's pocket holsters. I have a video on most of these guys, most of these holsters. If something piques your interest, you're going to want to go check that out. Uh, on, on reasons to pocket carry, I'm looking at nine reasons to carry a backup gun. This is a kind of rare. They're all empty. I've been filming all day. They've been, they're all empty. Smith & Wesson Model 12, aluminum frame, lightweight, 38 Special, 2-inch, 6 shot. And uh, so there's that. Let's look at this Tolster holster. Look at that. I put a, did this one come with it? I don't think this one came with it. I put a wedge on that. Um... And uh, look at that nice monoclot clip style. That's great. This is Tolster Holster. Use my code Dan the Wolfman to get 10% uh, off, I think. At Tolster, maybe 15, I forget. At Tolster Holster, hook you guys up for the 8.56. This is for an 8.56 Defender, a 3 inch. You could carry a 2 inch in it, and it's not going to keel out as much because of this little thing called physics and leverage. So you might want to get the 3 inch anyway. And lo and behold, the 856 Tolster, this is the Defender uh, holster, fits this perfectly. So the Tolster Wraith, definitely look at my video of that and all the other Tolster holsters uh, that are available. I show a lot of options in the uh, Tolster Wraith, uh, Wrath Wraith holster um, videos. So definitely, definitely go check that out. Okay, uh, just showing you that with a double action or whatever, you could always use this cheap kind of generic thing uh, here. I uh, grab the left hand instead of the right handed. Uh, but hey, you could buy a couple. Uh, see, that doesn't fit trigger guard. Right? But this one does. This one does. The RP63 does, but the barrel sticks out. But it doesn't really bug me all that much. So, you know, here are some little cheap leather holsters. It's double action. You, you, that's fine. You don't got to worry about a striker and that. Um, you know, and you might even carry two dual appendix style. It's chopping my head off. It's bugging me. Um, but it is what it is. So, 
let's go up in the size. Here is a uh, Don Hume. Don Hume's always been good to me. Great to talk to on the phone. It's been a while. Uh, but Don Hume, this is for a two and a half inch uh, K frame, like a Model 19 or 65, 66, I think, whatever. Uh, but here's the two inch Model 12 that fits in it. This is left handed in case you want to have a New York reload. We talked about that in the other uh, video on ammunition selection 38 and 357, and I, I covered all the reload methods. Uh, as well, including the New York Reload. So look at that for more on why you might want to do that. And, um, well, there, that fits really well. Don Hume, uh, even the Tour 692, it's a little big for it, but that fits in it. Here's the new, highly recommended thus far, I don't know about long-term doughty, Rossi RP63, three-inch barrel, six-shot 357 Magnum, very small. There's a little wiggle room in here. It's not as tall as the K-frame. There's a good little finger width at the bottom, so but it definitely fits uh, good enough. Don Hume, nice company. Uh, they also make tons of left-handed holsters because the owner is left-handed. So that's good to know for 7% of you. Um, even that fit in here, the Taurus uh, 692 multi-caliber. Um, best holster. For the RP63, again, this was made, just came out for the A56 Defender by Harry's Holsters. Dual DLC or mono block, which is my favorite, actually, because bump in the night, throw it in your underwear, throw it in your sweatpants, throw it in your shoe pants I used to wear, going to bed, uh, whatever. And um, it, it fit that perfectly, so it fits the A56 it's made for. Perfectly, but then I loosened up the screws and I put a couple of uh, little loop spacers I got from another holster company and made the Harry's holster work just perfect for the brand new RP63 to carry uh, appendix style with the uh, foam wedge. I think I called, I forgot what that thing's called. I, I mentioned earlier on the holster. It's late. I've been filming and eating all day. A lot of tryptophan in that turkey, so. There you go. Uh, what do I carry most of the time? Especially with these bigger revolvers, if I did carry it when I go to revolver training day. Even the RP63 fits really good. Even, I mean, it rocks a little bit. It's a little loose. You know, hopefully you don't get a hands-on fight, get knocked down. Um, but the RP63 fits in that. Uh, this is the Bianchi Cyclone 111. This one says Smith & Wesson medium frame two and a half revolver. Bianchi Cyclone, I believe it's 111. That was a really popular video before I got hidden. You know, once the 1984 happened. Uh, Tour 692, boom. That's perfectly. Uh, I like three o'clock, no cans. I think this was the second revolver holster I ever got. Uh, well, the first revolver I had, the Ruger GP100. 7-shot, 3-inch Taylor Edition. I got videos on all these different revolvers and holsters you're going to want to check out. Next, the DeSantis Thumbbrake. This one says it fits a Colt Python 3-inch Ruger GP100 3-inch and saw L-frame 2.5 to 3-inch. I think this was my first one. I have a video on it, but if you watch my draws... Um, this is behind the hip, like 334 with a cant, so kind of more like an FBI cant, 15 degree kind of thing. Um, and I realized I don't really like it. It was okay, so it cants it. Yeah, that's about right. It cants it like that instead of that. I like a 3 o'clock uh, for outside waistband carry instead of this. Because it slows you down and you have to kind of bend down and that big chicken wing elbow isn't a quiet draw. It tells the bad guys you're counter ambushing. Um, but I know a lot of people like to carry that way so this might be a good option. The only one I have a relationship with, uh, a lot of companies have sent me some free holsters uh, but I get a little with holster. But um, it's okay if you wanted to snap it of course. Hey. That used to not snap. I guess a little humidity sitting around and in drawers and in bags and multiple holster bags have made the thumb snap actually fit. I worked it out a bit by hand and tried to stretch it 
I guess it finally did. Huh, I can only assume that's from a little bit of moisture absorption. That's pretty, pretty interesting with the ambient air temperature and humidity. Okay, uh, next we got the other Don Hume. This one's the right-handed for the GP100. Or saw L-frame, like a 686 is an L-frame. Uh, these are kind of K-frame-ish. This, I'm going to say that's slightly smaller than L-frame and bigger than a K-frame probably on the Tour 692. Um, so, before my belly got bigger, I used to go carrying dual appendix style to the, uh, to the range. Um... But my belly's kind of too big now, unfortunately. So there's the GP100 in there. And let's throw the Tor 692 in it. That works as well. There's a little bit more wiggle room, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, you want lesser tension, faster draw, GP100. And you want a little tighter retention with the 692. Uh, K-frame kind of worked as well on the Don Hume holsters. All right. I think last but not least, I have a video on this. I actually got a lot of views, probably because it was released between Christmas and New Year's last year. Um, I don't carry with this because the length doesn't let me conceal well enough. Even if I'm draped over, guys, you got to remember, you might bend down to tie your shoe or pick something up you dropped or help someone out or you're going shopping and you're looking on the bottom shelf. Um, you could, and especially if you're like taller than me. I stunt doubled Sylvester Stallone once, so I'm like 5'10 and 3 quarter, 5'10 and 5'11. Um, so that works even though you got an extra inch room down there. So this is a 4 inch holster, and this will pretty much fit whatever. Um, you can also reverse it, because it has it on both sides. So you can reverse the strap if you want to do, and put it on your left hip. So you might want to cowboy it up if you're down in Texas and have one on the right and one on the left. That would definitely make you more successful. Maybe you don't want to do that. Okay, uh, Look cool, but uh, way more successful. If you didn't know how to turn or whatever, like two guys could attack you to stop you from pivoting and using your elbow to defend or shove in there to defend a gun grab. So I'm not necessarily recommending that. But, uh, yeah, it goes both ways. Like maybe some of you do, whatever. Um here you go. So, here's the GP100, 692, it all fits in there. So, uh, tag wall, it looks like pretty good leather. That's good as well. So, um, some companies I've only like talked to once. I talked to Mika on the phone, he was super cool. And uh, I know his brother was uh, seemed like really respected the LAPD back in the 70s, I think. Um, his uncle Scotty mentioned it, his brother, in a video. Uh, LA, long time LAPD SWAT. Um, really impressed. The first Harry's holster I got. Really impressed and awesome to find something with RP63 that was like over $400 and very few. And now there's a bunch online for 330 to 350 this Thanksgiving. Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Yeah, you might want to go check it out. Um, the Toolster holster, guys, that's going to be a great option. For all you 856, 856 Defender, and I mean, they got to look at all, uh, look at all the ones um, that Tolster and Harry Tolster have, different revolvers, guys. Uh, one I didn't mention is, um, Game Custom Kydex also offers, they have very good holsters, I've, I've gotten a couple from them, um, but not for the revolver, but they do, I think for 686. And the plus, it's all the same GP100, all the same cylinder width, whether whatever the caliber is, uh, whatever the six or seven shot, doesn't matter. Um, they got three inches in those, um, I believe, and probably some other ones too. So those are some, whether you want leather or whether you want Kydex, those are your holster options, guys. Please look at all my videos. Um, you know, I got demonetized and obviously hidden in the shadows. But uh, I'm may still occasionally trying to make some uh, because I think this is helpful to a lot of people. And a lot of people have, as long as you're a good, sane, sober, law-abiding citizen that can legally buy, pass a background check, you're not a prohibited possessor, you're not a drug addict or a major raging alcoholic or something, you should be able to protect yourself, your family, the good people around you. So let me know what you think of these in the comments down below and if this was helpful. 
Thank you very much.